Hi friends, I'm Walker and welcome back to All About Nails where we talk about vegan or cruelty for nail polish. Today I have the Summer Collection from Leela Jo Lacquer. This is the Caribbean Collection and I will put all of the release information down below in my description box. Before we dive into these colors and this collection, Leela Jo Lacquer is the rebranded Lucky Lacquer. So I have some videos um, of polishes from that brand on my channel so I'll link them up here in the cards somewhere. Um, but this brand took a break. Um, Carly Jo, who runs the brand, went on maternity leave. And then when she came back, she wanted to rebrand. And so this is now named after her daughter, I think. Um, this is their second collection. I do have their spring collection. I will have a swatch and review video on that collection coming out in the next couple weeks. Um, but wanted to get this one up first because this is releasing very, very soon on July 12th. Um, these six polishes are in new packaging and they're very very pretty so let's dive in and look at these swatches and then at the end I'll tell you a little bit more about my thoughts and my favorites. Okay first up is Aria and this one is described by Leela Joe and Co as our luxurious rich pink berry and this one definitely has that berry tone to me it's got that like really kind of juicy color I would say it's more of a like red leaning berry. It has a lot of red in it, but it has that kind of softness um, that I would associate with like a berry pink color. And the formula is really nice. It goes on super evenly. There's no kind of pooling or running. Um, and I do feel like it's pretty opaque. So I'm getting a pretty clean uh, finish on this first coat, which is really, really nice. I do think that you're going to want to build it up in a second coat, um, but you'll see here it just builds up really beautifully. Um, so it gets nice and opaque in two coats. You get that luscious color. And I did find this one to dry perfectly glossy, um, really nice in two coats. And so I'm going to show you my swatch photo. My swatch photo is going to be two coats um, with glossy top coat, but you'll be able to see here on my nails how it does dry down pretty nice and glossy. So if you're not a top coat wearer, this one will be lovely for you. Um, I really enjoy these colors. I think this is really great, especially for like, the transition into fall. It's just kind of a perfect color for that. So you are looking at here, two coats of Aria. Again, my swatch photo is going to have two coats of Aria plus one coat of glossy top coat. Okay, next up we have a little bit of a shimmer. Um, this one is called Aurora, and this one is, I just find it really hard to describe. Um, Leela Jo Lacquer describes it as a cool toned brown with multi colored shimmer. And I would describe this one, yeah, it, it's, it's definitely got that brown base. And then the shimmer in here, there's some, maybe some gold, some blue shift. And the base is pretty, uh, you know, pretty sheer because you do get that really, really intense, um, very densely packed shimmer. Um, so you can see kind of how it's dried down here. It's a little bit sheer, but it's so reflective from all of that shimmer. Um, so, you know, I'm going to wear it in just two coats, and I think that's enough because of kind of the level of reflection that you get back at you. This reminds me of, oh my gosh, I don't know, like toffee or something, because it's that kind of very rich brown. Um, and so they describe it as cool toned. I do get the kind of cool bounce back from the blue glitters, but there's also this really warm kind of like golden taupey shimmer here. So this one's really, really fun and that's two coats. Okay, next up is another cream. This one is Sienna. This is maybe my top two favorites from this collection. This one's so pretty. Again, another really lovely like transition to fall shade. This one is described as a rich, dusty, burnt orange. And I think this one, it's showing up on camera here a little bit more pumpkin-y. It's a little bit more terracotta in real life. So it's just got like a, a bit more dustiness in real life. Um, I think my swatch photo is similar. I think it's a little bit more accurate, um, but it's just a really pretty kind of rich color. It has a very similar formula to the first polish that we looked at, Aria, and so it is, you know, just lovely. It goes on really smoothly. There's no, like, running or pooling. Uh, there's no, you know, chalkiness, and I found this one to be opaque in two coats, so I, I really enjoyed this formula. I thought it was really nice, and of course you can see here Leela Joe & Co., uh, Leela Joe Lacquer now has this wide paddle brush. When they were Lucky Lacquer, they had a little bit more of the kind of thicker, um, kind of fat brush. So for those of you who like wide brushes, you'll be very happy with this one. 
Okay, and now we're gonna look at the last uh, kind of shimmery, non-cream <laughs> shade in the collection. This is Sahara, and this one is a really pretty gold foil, and Leela Jo Lacquer describes it as a luxurious molten white gold chrome, which it seems right to me. It definitely is that kind of white gold color. It's a very strong gold, but it's not that yellow gold or like antique gold. Uh, this one I think has a really nice formula. It's very opaque and very dense. And so in one coat, you get some really nice finish here. And then in two coats, I'm just gonna kind of even everything out, but you could probably get away with one coat, which to me means that this would be really lovely uh, to use for nail art. You know, you could just do a quick little swipe of Sahara on top of one of the other colors and it would it would be opaque and, and come across um, in nail art and you wouldn't have to build it up too much, which is really nice. But super reflective. I would definitely say this one is a foil um, and it's that kind of warm gold color. Um, so this one is two coats of Sahara. Okay, two more creams to look at. This first one is a really pretty green. This one is Peridot. And this one is, I think, probably more similar to my um, All About Polish Lyra than it is to some of the other kind of chartreuse greens, which means to me it has a little bit more yellow in it than green. Um, they describe this as a bright electric chartreuse, and I do think it has a bit more yellow in it. It's very bright. Um, it was for me a little bit sheer on one coat, so you can see I have just a little bit of uh, kind of patchiness or streakiness, and um, I have that kind of peeling on my first finger there, and it's it does just settle right into that crack, even though I have base coat on. Um, and so I'm going to do this one in three coats. You might be able to get two if you did thicker coats than I did, uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one in three coats and just show you how it builds up. You also might be able to get away with two if you're not in, you know, these super intense swatching lights that, that just like super direct light always makes polishes look a little bit more sheer than they do if you're just kind of wearing it around your house. Um, so I don't know that I would say this one is definitely a three coater for everyone, but I definitely found better coverage in three coats um, and just thought that the formula needed it a little bit. The wide brush certainly helps make application really easy and so it might be a little bit trickier um, without that wide brush, but I think this one's really lovely. I uh, just love these colors in the summer, especially. So that's three coats of Peridot. Okay, last but not least, we have Caribbean. And this one is a blue cream. Um, they don't describe it as a neon, but you will see in my swatch here that it does dry down a little bit on the matte side, uh, which, you know, to me means that there's probably some uh, neon pigment in there. They describe it as a stunning electric teal blue, which, yep, that feels right to me. It definitely has that teal in it. Definitely has the electricness in it. Um, you can see on my first coat here, it is definitely a little bit sheer, a little bit patchy. Again, that might come from there being some neon in here. Those can be a little bit trickier to work with, a little bit less kind of creamy. Um, but I do think this one's three coats probably for everybody. Um, I wore it in three and really enjoyed it. Um, I think on two coats it, it gets almost opaque, <laughs> um, but I did just have a little bit of kind of streakiness and patchiness. So I'm going to show you this one in three coats. I did wear this one. Um, some of you might know that I was traveling for the last week, and so I did actually wear this one for about a week. Um, I got some shipping, and so, you know, it was... Uh, not a perfect manicure for a week, but that's normal. Travel is always so hard on my nails. Um, but I didn't have any staining from this. I had um, a super clean removal. I did wear a normal, you know, base coat. I used the All About Polish base coat, and I didn't have any staining. So I know sometimes these teal colors can really um, leave behind a little bit of a legacy. Uh, but for this one, I wore it in three coats, and I had no staining. So you're looking at three coats with top coat. Okay, so you all know that I love a good combination of some fun and funky creams, and I feel like there's some fun ones in here. I'm actually wearing um, Caribbean right now. This is a really pretty blue, and I don't know that I would have put these six colors together in a collection, but I kind of like them. It's a lot of, you know, kind of really exciting sparkly colors and some really fun creams, so I think this is a neat collection. Again, it's not one that I would have put together, um, but I feel like a lot of brands make collections that I wouldn't have put together. Uh, I do like the new packaging. I don't mind the square bottles. Um, they have a really nice new wide brush, which you saw in the live swatches. 
if I had to make one teeny tiny complaint, I think it's just the stem of the brush for me is a little bit on the shorter side. It reminds me of the Arosa Beauty packaging. They have that kind of shorter stem, which for me, I just don't love using it. It's a little cumbersome, but I know other people when I've said that about Arosa, have strongly disagreed with me. So it's totally a personal preference thing, but that's my preference. I think that these colors are really fun. Um, I enjoyed this collection and I hope that you did too. Awesome. As always, let me know which one is your favorite and I can't wait to see you in next week's video.